Shurukalapar and Sue Sanders. And the first uh, text contribution is that of Emiliano, uh, who is with us today and uh, talks about his experience of the, the World Pride, the first World Pride that held in Rome in 2000 with his mom. So I would like that um, Emiliano uh, could say something about this experience and then I will tell you more info about the book. Okay, thank you, Asia. Um, when the publisher asked me to participate to this uh, important project, I was very proud because I think that uh, a book like Pride uh, is a necessary book uh, in, uh, in the modern situation because uh, um, inclusivity, because uh, a better world uh, is always possible and we have to fight every day to obtain rights when rights are just uh, emerge, you know? Uh, so I was very proud to participate in this book. And, and I want to say a thing, say a short story to you, because when they asked to me to write something in the book, they asked to me, Emiliano, could you write something about the rights that we got in Italy for the LGBTQI plus com community? And I was thinking about, and my answer was, uh, Asia, I don't know, because we got so few rights for our community in Italy that I cannot fill 7,000 characters for my articles, something like this. So if you want, I could describe the World Pride with my mom. And that was a very, very, very great moment of my life. And Asia and Giorgio answered to me, yes, we accept your proposal. And so... Um, what I did was to describe what uh, my mom was in my life uh, till when I was uh, a child, because my mom was always from my side. In everything happened in my life, she was from my side. Every time I came back home crying, disparated because uh, of bullying, because homophobic uh, uh, things that uh, I faced in my life, she was always on my side. Uh, every time she try to give me the strength to react to the, to the hate and to the bad things that happened in my life. So my mama was um, an example of what should be a mother, because a mother loves you before then herself. And mama this, did this for me. And uh, when we went to the Euro Europride, it was in 2000, so I was very, very younger than now, imagine. And uh, I think my mama uh, at about my, my age of now, something similar. And it was wonderful because uh, Rome is a very spectacular city. And uh, the Pride Parade was in the center with Colosseum. It was summer, the, there were... Uh, 100,000, I think more than 1 million people from all around the world. It, it was a very, very, very special event, even because um, there were a lot of people that now uh, are not more here with us, uh, that with their battles, uh, with their fight, and with their activism, uh, um, they granted to us uh, and to the next generation to have more rights. Uh, uh, Silvia Rivera, uh, for example, some Italian activists like uh, uh, Lacar Dupigné, all people that uh, during all their life fight for the rights and they fight against the hate and discrimination. So the World Pride was very important for us, uh, for their presence. And uh, every time, uh, I think that uh, every year, the Pride Month is um, very important because we have to remember to don't stop uh, that we have still keep fighting to, to make it possible a better, a better world and non something. Okay, okay, perfect. No, it was a, an information on the on Zoom. So I think that the pride is very important. It's a very important moment of life for every member of LGBTQI plus community, but even for heterosexual people, because pride is the moment of love, is the moment where uh, you stop to be gay, you stop to be bisexual, you stop to be transgender, but you are only a person. I think that the purpose of this book, of this beautiful book, is this. Give the idea, give the signal that we are not 
uh, gay, bisexual, transgender, um, heterosexual. We are only people, only person that loves. And for this reason, every one of us um, um, has right to have the respect and to feel free to live his life. So this is what I did in all my life with my books, with the Romantists, and even with my contribute to this volume, volume because when I um, talk about the war, war pride in Rome, there is a lot of things I talk about, about my mom, about the parade, about what was the past and what I, I hope for the future. And I hope all the person that they will read the book, that they will see the imagine and all my story on the story of the, the other authors, will feel our feeling, will feel our emotions and is uh, kept inside of the book uh, to understand what uh, we felt in our lives. Uh, because uh, what I would like, what I hope for the future is that uh, no other guys uh, um, will suffer what I suffer in my childhood. But I know, because I, I have to be real, that many places in, in the world, homosexual, uh, to be homosexual is illegal. So um, and people, um, are, um, they risk their life every time they, they, they go to the pride parade or every day they say I'm gay. So I, I, I want to think that this project is a, a little stone, but very important to, to make our world a better world, even for the future, for the next generation, even for the country where the aid is still too strong. Thank you very much, Emiliano. Oh, thank you, Emiliano. Thank you very much. I want to uh, do some questions. Um, such, uh, which uh, moment do you uh, uh, choice uh, to during uh, writing uh, the book uh, in your life and your work? Um, and how difficult uh, was such uh, writing task for your uh, psychology uh, or social environment uh, and uh, writing this book. Okay, I, I hope to um, I hope to understood uh, everything the right way. Uh, uh, Asia, help me, help me for. You help us, Asia. <laughs> Vuole sapere uh, quali momenti della tua vita quindi ha tirato in ballo uh, quello che hai scritto e che effetti ha avuto anche su di te a livello psicologico appunto nel okay, senso okay. di okay. percorrere quei momenti. Ok, perfetto. Uh, it was not easy, you know, because, uh, because, because my mom, my mom passed away uh one something one month and a half ago and so when i wrote the 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 article my mama was really really sick and the idea to write this article about me and mama was like a gift to her and uh, i wanted i really wanted that she she knew what i wrote about her and for her but uh, mama couldn't uh, keep open their, high, their, their eyes. So I asked to a friend of mine that is an actor to record uh, my, my article. He, he, he read the article recording his voice and I let my mom uh, listen to the article. So it was a very emotional moment and I was very happy when I asked to mama, mama, do you like it? And she said, yes. She, she said only yes, because she, uh, she has difficulties to talk and because it, it was very difficult for the sickness. But this yes was so strong, so powerful that gave me back all the um, a very big satisfaction for what I did. So to write this article was difficult because when I talk about bullism and homophobic moment in my life, um, sometimes it's not easy. To, to, to think again, 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 to what happened in your life. It was so, um, so difficult to face. But uh, I think that is important because the, um, the life of a writer uh, give, give to me the possibility to face the, the feeling, the, my, my feelings, my emotion every day. And uh, usually um, I find 
the braveness to look inside of me, even when the moments are bad, but even when they're good, because the, the best thing of writing is that you can explain, you can share with other people all your feeling. if you are sad, if you are happy, if you are excited. So to write this article make me um, gave me the possibility to live again a lot of things. But first of all, to, um, to take the consciousness of the man that today I am. And I am the, the man that uh, you can see, you can hear today, even because my mom was on my side and because in all my life, uh, I try to be always myself with honesty. Uh, and I didn't accept, accept to hide myself. And I think that is the, the key, the solution for don't lose the light in your eyes. I can cry. I can cry a lot because I usually cry. I cry a lot. I'm, I'm terrible. But the day after I cry, I'm again there. Again there, stronger than before because I want to fight, because I want to obtain what I think that I deserve. And it should be for every one of us. If someone tell you that you cannot obtain what you want, you have to say, no, I deserve it and will do my best to get it. Also, I could uh, ask something more. Yes, tell me. Uh, you said uh, that above uh, all we are uh, human, and I agree with uh, that. I would uh, like to ask uh, which aspects of uh, human nature uh, do you consider to stand on, the, on this book? I consider, sorry? Uh, uh, the human nature, uh, okay. um, if you can consider to stand out in the book. Che emergono sul volume, quali aspetti umani che accomunano tutti gli esseri umani trovi nel volume? Oh, but I think that uh, your, 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 um, your question is, uh, is a, an important question, but uh, because many people don't consider uh, uh, all the human beings the same. But for me, it's, uh, it's like this. So I think that every one of us has his weakness, his strength, his sensibility, his fragility. So I think that uh, everyone that um, keep uh, that make us a community is only the, the, our heart, the feeling that we can live, uh, the um, expectation that we have for our life. I cannot um, mark, uh, you know, a, a, a border between gay, transgender, heterosexual, bisexual, because every one of us is the same of the other, because what uh, um, I feel um, my identity, my gender identity or my sexual orientation, uh, uh, that, uh, doesn't matter about the human being that I am. If you, Alexander, uh, you, you love a, a girl or a boy, it doesn't change anything. In, in my eyes, uh, when I see you and I see your smile and when I talk with you. And so I think that uh, all these characteristics uh, are similar to the human being. And what we should do is this, uh, to try to make all the people don't like to make, to, to, to tracciare, come uh, to sign to sign border between human beings because borders shouldn't be because we are all human beings with our feelings, our fragility, our strengths and, uh, and, and nothing particular is different. And everything different is something that uh, give us mad, make us rich, more rich, you know? Because if you're different from me, I can get from you something very special that I have no inside that could be a feeling, that could be a, a think, that could be an experience. So I think that the, all the human beings uh, should represent for me a possibility to grow in a better way because I can understand, I can learn something different. And I would like that even all the other person will start to think in this way.